Greetings YouTube, this is Cool Dude Clem here, back again for another video, and today I'm going to give you some DOSBox hints and tips. Um, for those of you who don't know what DOSBox is, it's a PC emulator that actually runs on PC. And as ridiculous as that sounds, it is actually quite a useful program, because what it emulates is a PC running DOS, so you can run all your old DOS games again. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with DOS, it's a um, command line system, doesn't have much of a GUI, in fact there's really no GUI at all, it's all text based and what you do is you type in what you want the computer to do and that's how you use it usually in DOS you get a C but you can see here there's a Z or a Z depending on how you say it so to access the C drive type in mount C C colon backslash and you can get to your C drive as you can see there it says mounting C is not recommended now on my C drive here, I've got a directory called games, and that's what we're going to mount the C drive as. So, to do that, type in mount C, C colon backslash games. And now if we type in dir slash w slash p, you can see all the files and folders that are there. The folders are the ones that are in square brackets, and the files, well, there are no files there, so it's just showing the folders, which are called directories in DOS. So let's say I want to play uh, Magic Land Dizzy, go into the directory where Dizzy, Magic Land Dizzy is, which is Dizzy4. Of course, typing in CD first, which tells it to change the directory. Now if we go into, into there, into the Windows, that's how it looks in Windows. If we access it in DOSBox, course get the directory again I've got a new keyboard by the way and I'm not quite used to this some of the buttons are in some insane positions but there's all the files as they appear in DOS obviously there's no icon you can click on so you have to tell it to run it by typing it in just type in the name of the executable file and there it goes This game being run in DOSBox. Now here is where I've installed DOSBox and this file which I'm pointing at right now is the configuration file that it uses. DOSBox doesn't save any settings to the registry, gets them all from this file here and we can open it by right clicking and select notepad to open it. In fact, I'm going to say always use this selected program. So that should now have a little notepad icon on it. There it is. And this is where you can configure DOSBox to operate the way you want it to. I've selected 640 by 480 as the full screen size, but um, as you can see there it says false, where it says full screen, because if I put this in full screen it will interrupt the video capture. Now at the bottom of the file here where it says auto exec, I'm going to type in what I typed in when I ran DOSBox. So I type mount C, C colon backslash games, C colon. Now I'll just save that. And this time when we run DOSBox, as you can see there, those things I typed in now automatically appear. So you don't have to keep typing them in. Now I'm going to show you how to make icons that you can click on so you can run your DOS games without having to type in all that stuff every time you want to play a game. So let's say we want to play... I don't know, let's see... Let's say Commander Keen Dreams. We need to make a configuration file to make DOSBox automatically run that game. And to do that, we open the configuration file again, go down to the bottom, now add the lines that will make the game start. CDK Dreams, which I think is the folder, isn't it? Let me just check. Yeah, gotta make sure you spell it right. Let's see what the file is to run it. Kdreams.exe. So just put in Kdreams. Now when you save it, you want to you don't want to save it as the default configuration file. You want to give it a different name, we'll just call it KDR. 
there is the new configuration file that will make DOSBox run that game but we're not done just quite yet we need to make a file that will make DOSBox run and run with that particular configuration file so go to new text document and we're going to write a little bit of script that will make DOSBox run and automatically use that particular file and to do that you just type in DOSBox minus conf and then the, the configuration file you made which in this case is KDR dot KDR dot conf and we close that and obviously save it now we rename this to new text document dot BAT and it'll give you a thing saying do you want to do this and well, you say yes so it should change to an icon with a little which looks like a little gear and a windows window I should mention out that in the folder options when you do this you want to make sure that this thing that says hide extension for, phone, for known file types is unchecked but then you can just simply double click on this file and there it is it comes up and you can play it without having to type in all that stuff every time you want to play it now the last thing I'm going to show you is how to run CD-ROM games with this thing now at this point I'm assuming you've already mounted your C drive either by typing the commands into DOSBox or putting it into a configuration file so it does it automatically so the next thing you type in is mount D and on my computer I'm not sure what my CD-ROM is called so we'll just have a little look okay please excuse the bad language there my hard drive is drive E I mean my disk drive is drive E so type in E colon backslash then you type in minus T CD ROM and you can now play CD ROM games now I found the disk for Tomb Raider so that's what we're going to try on this first of all we go to first of all we type in D to get to the CD-ROM that we just mounted of course you could add those lines that mount the CD-ROM into your configuration file anyway we'll just um, get a directory of the files that are on the disk and ins let's install Tomb Raider now that's the setup we'll just go to install C kernel on Tomb Raider that's fine audio detect sound don't need to test it because I already know it works save settings now let's install Tomb Raider let's type in the file of the um, name of the exe file to run it and off it goes there's Tomb Raider running in DOSBox let's just skip the cutscenes here on some games the joystick emulation is a bit um, absolutely crazy but if you s circle, the juice, circle the joystick a few times that should fix that problem and then you can go in play Tomb Raider, let's just scroll this bit down a bit so you can see more of it ok let's skip the thing, doesn't seem to want to skip it there we are Tomb Raider running in DOSBox and I've forgotten what button makes a jump ok it's ALT and I'm being killed here anyway let's just close that now now if you're going to run um, games like that I'll just show you something in the configuration file this bit here on the CPU bit it's best to put this bit cycles to max you see there I've written in max most games about 8000 is good but for games like Tomb Raider and Doom and things like that best put this thing to say max and of course you have to have a pretty fast computer to play games like that as well so anyway um, that's just about it now see you next time until next time goodbye